Hi, Marie. What a beautiful dress you have on. Where did you get it? Why, thank you. But I'm not quite sure what you mean by get it. Well, what store did you buy it from? Oh, heavens, I could not afford to purchase my own dress from a dressmaker shop. Oh no, I made this dress myself. Wow, maybe you can teach me how to make my own clothes too. Why, I'd be delighted to. You know, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is shear a sheep. You do have a sheep, right? In shears. Okay, and then you'll clean the wool by soaking it and scouring it in the hot, soapy water for, well, three or, or four times to remove any dirt and oils. Brush out the wool so all the fibers are going in the same direction. That is very important. And be sure to brush it well. Spin the wool into a yarn. You have your own spinning wheel, right? Dye the yarn with natural dyes from nuts, flowers, roots, or bark. You'll need to forage for those, of course. Weave the yarn using the loom. You have a loom as well, right? Now cut out the pattern of your dress. You'll need to design that first or use a copy of a dress that you already have. And then you need to sew it with needle and thread. It's that simple. On second thought, maybe I'll just go to the mall. See you later. Would you like to know how clothing was made way back when? Well then come and join us at the Northeast Georgia History Center's Homeschool Day Common Threads on Thursday, January 26th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come learn about how clothing was made in the 18th and early 19th centuries at home. Demonstrations and activities include spinning, weaving, and sewing. An exhibit scavenger hunt, hands-on activities, and a display of antique sewing machines and equipment are all included with regular admission. That's Thursday, January 26th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Northeast Georgia History Center in Gainesville.